get your tux, get your best suit. Let's head to the red carpet. NFL Honors is coming up, and he will be the heavy favorite to be the NFL MVP. And let's face it, we'll see him here at the Pro Bowl many times to come in future years. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's a carry for James Conner of the Steelers. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. The starting unit for the AFC. Definite Pittsburgh connection on that offensive line. Three Steelers in Villanueva, Pouncey, and DeCastro. Also in that starting group, Quentin Nelson, the rookie from India, left guard, and the Titans' Taylor Juan selected to his third straight Pro Bowl at right tackle. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That one again. Gain of 20 and a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to rumble. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. On first and 10 is Connor. And touchdown! James Connor. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. So the AFC, remember, of course, they won the last couple years here in Orlando and off to a good start in this one. Yeah, how about that? The first touchdown of this game, how many more do we expect to see? Hopefully a lot. I want offense in this ball game. I don't think there's any question about it. Rarely do you get defensive struggles in the Pro Bowl. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now Breeze. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. And that'll bring up second down. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. now and that's going to be incomplete Austin Hooper the tight end was the intended target and that'll make it third down so back-to-back -back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and ten on play action it's Breeze oh he almost picked it nearly a turnover there on their opening drive and that's a throw he'd like to have back now fourth down well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The AFC offense set to take their next drive. Well, we can continue to talk Pro Bowl as we go along, but let's talk a little Super Bowl. Super Bowl 53, one week from today over in Atlanta, New England, taking on the Rams. Time for your Super Bowl prediction, CD. What do you think? Well, everyone thinks defense when they think the New England Patriots, but in the time that they've had their head coach and their quarterback, Tom Brady, guess what? They're the number one offensive team in the NFL and you know the Rams are high flyers as well so that tells me that this Super Bowl 
Low scoring. It's going to be a total anomaly. I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of 13-10 final score. Going totally opposite what it should be. Well, I'm going to completely disagree. I see high scoring, maybe 51-44, something like that. The two punters, uh, Johnny Hecker and Ryan Allen, don't even show up to this one. Johnny Hecker might throw a touchdown pass because you know the Rams like to fake it when he's on the field. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that. Now that's a big game. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Six-nothing our score after one. Second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because <laughs> officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. On second down, it's Gordon. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it. And he is into the end zone for an AFC touchdown. Taking it in for two yards out. And the AFC is able to widen their advantage. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss free kick out of bounds kicking team so they will accept the penalty and move forward they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43 from Leon it's Breeze he completes it to Julio Jones and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. They'll run with the Rams, Todd Gurley. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second incident. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. the 41 breeze and this is going to be caught but they'll say out of bounds so it's incomplete the first down line at the 34 here on third down shotgun now for breeze 
That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. A 55-yard and I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up a great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. The offense for the AFC set to go now. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. Boy, fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. On first down, Mahomes. And he fends him off. And the catch made by Hopkins. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A well-executed 22-yard gain. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. And he does come alive when they do look his way. Not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. on first down. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. So we are at halftime of the 2019 Pro Bowl with the AFC out on top. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So that one will be accepted. Breeze in the oh, NFC come up now with a first and ten at the 41-yard line. They run. It's Gurley. Menardrick McKinney there to make the stop. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Here's a carry for Saquon Barkley and the Giants. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. It's caught, Jones. And that's going to move the sticks again here as the tackle's made at the AFC's 39. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. We used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's a pick up of six. 
Brings up second and four. <laughs> On second down and four. Breeze. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked the ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. From the gun on third down, Breeze. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. What a hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. I don't think this will even... Nope, it doesn't even get there. Little short, and this score will stay right where it is. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 15 yards is the pick up there on the drive starting very nicely. First down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge gets ruled incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time, but it'll be second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. Are you going to win it? In this case, they managed to get it done. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Now Mahomes. And he finds Cook. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown. Jared Cook. 39 yards. And the AFC adds on to their lead. Great play, but admittedly, the tackling in the Pro Bowl, Charles, not always the best. I would say that they're not quite as committed to getting a guy on the ground in the Pro Bowl as maybe during the regular season and, of course, in the playoffs. But still, heck of an individual effort there on that run. from Myers. So he missed his first two, but this time it's good, and that'll extend the lead. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends with an AFC touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Breeze in the NFC come up now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. 30 they'll come up with a second and five three quarters in the books you are watching the nfl on ea sports it's the afc in possession though they trail here to begin the fourth from the 30 on second down breeze he throws and he hits the slant route to thomas and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40. it's a first down on a gain of 10. Breeze now on first down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. 
Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. To throw once more on second and ten. Breeze, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there and a first down. Breeze now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Again, it's Breeze. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. That throw good for four. It's second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it'll bring up third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Breeze. This complete to Jones. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. NFC South to NFC South. Breeze to Julio Jones for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. On first and 10, here's Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they... And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Now they got to get to the line quickly. On third and long, it's Breeze. And he connects with Ertz. And that's going to move the sticks again here as the tackle's made at the AFC's 13-yard line. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And now they're in the hurry up. Breeze now to throw. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown NFC. Julio Jones there to make the grab. And the NFC able to get a bit closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Rosas good with the extra point. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And the AFC is going to cover this up, and that should do it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to the none. And they'll indeed take a knee. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. On 
second down now. It's Connor. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. He's got a first out and more inside the 30. And down to the 29-yard line. So, Charles, final thoughts on this AFC victory. Bottom line, nobody appeared to be seriously hurt. That's the first thing we look for in this game. Well played, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. I think that everyone's going to go home pretty happy, especially the AFC since they won the game. That'll do.